when I found out I was pregnant and I was in the woods, it was, I was so disappointed in myself. I mean, I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but it was the absolute worst time for it to happen. I was scared, terrified, not knowing if we would ever get a place, you know, for my baby. Because I would, you know, I would never get an abortion or anything like that, so I was just mostly disappointed. Based on how I became homeless, I was married and stuff, and then basically uh, I got into selling drugs and stuff like that, and, and after selling drugs and stuff, my wife gave me an ultimatum that if I either left that lifestyle alone or she was going to leave me with the kids. The first day that I slept on the street, I actually sat at the bus stop at the ocean front. And I didn't really sleep because I was too scared. There were a lot of men walking around and men coming by and bothering me. And it was just a really terrifying feeling because I was a woman out there all by myself and I didn't know what to do, where to go, or who to turn to. And then the recession hit. Everything fell apart in my life. I lost my career. The place that I worked for went out of business. I had been... Um, psychologically and emotionally abused so much that I wasn't capable of taking care of myself, let alone anything else. And I ended up um, losing my home to the drug addiction. Um, so I sent my son um, to family so that the system wouldn't get him and uh, ended up on the streets. My mother didn't have custody of me because she lost custody of all of her children due to alcohol. So it was kind of like a dysfunctional, very functional with my grandparents, but very dysfunctional with my mother. Um, don't know my father. I met him once upstate New York penitentiary. And it's the only time I've ever met him. It's just a scary life to live. And you never know if someone's going to walk up on you and you know, anything happen or anything like that. And it's just scary living out in the woods, especially if you're a woman. I ended up homeless here in the beach uh, due to my drinking addiction. Basically, I took everything for granted, uh, not paying bills and drinking was more important. Uh, my first day homeless, I slept uh, here in Virginia Beach on the ocean front. Uh, up at the woods up at Birdneck. The longer that you're outside, the more you get used to it, of dressing that way and, you know, not having too much clothes because most of the time, like I said, you carry most of your stuff on you instead of leaving it in your tent or your campsite where you're at because you get people who wander through the woods and steal from you. It's not something you can go out and shout from the rooftops. It's you have to be part of something so people can see by your example and by who, how you are living, that something's changed. Something has definitely changed in my life. They said they were going to Penn, and so I kind of came along because I had, I had nothing. And there was food. There was food and there was clothes. And, you know, there was help. Dr. Abraham is the best. She helped me out with my dentures and my partial. She's the best dentist that I've been to in a long time. Ben's helped me with medical, dental, uh, helped my girlfriend too with hers, and uh, hygiene stuff, clothes, normal things that you, you don't have and when you, when you have them, you don't realize how much that stuff is worth to you. When we saw on the left a sign that said PIN, people in need, um, that's where we could go to get a shower. So we walked in and we were disgusting and we were hot and we just wanted to shower. We actually were greeted with like open arms. Um, we were given food, we were given blankets for our tent. We were given bug stuff to keep the bugs away around our tent. We were offered to go to a Bible study the same night, church on Sundays. Um, it just ended up becoming a part of our lives. They gave us blankets, they gave us pillows, they gave us clothes, they like they gave us food, they helped us out. Obviously, you know, they they do more. When I come home from work and see my beautiful wife and my daughter, it's joy, it's happiness, it's peacefulness. You know, it's it's just overwhelming joy. 
Actually, it's a blessing because um, I'm able to show those who, uh, if they give their life to, to, to Christ and stuff, that, uh, you know, that God can turn your life around. And actually, you know, I, I just a, I'm just a testimony that uh, that God can change you. Pen has really been a blessing with my medical care because I have high blood pressure and I have arthritis and I'm able to continue to take my blood pressure medication and my blood pressure is good. It's really good. It hasn't been high in over a year. Uh, it was a place to where I could go to where I was safe, it's where I was loved. Uh, there was people that would reach out in the areas that I needed. Shelters are the number one thing. People need a place to sleep. If I had all the money in the world, I would build a shelter for, for those who are still on the streets. The one thing I would do for the homeless in Virginia Beach is try to build a shelter. I know one thing, I, I don't want to be rich, so I know what I would do. I would give it, I would give it to Penn to build a shelter. Definitely build a shelter, or help build a shelter at least, for the homeless in Virginia Beach. If I had all the money in the world, I would buy a homeless shelter. I would provide a shelter, year round. Can you feel it? My name is Ann Christie. My husband and I own a catering company called Grand Affairs. We, every Sunday, provide a hot meal through our staff and lots of business community partners that donate food to us. And then we prepare it and bring it down here on Sunday for uh, Penn. As business owners and being in the community, we know that there's people out there that just, they need help. And most importantly, they need to be fed. And so to do that and to hear the story of I was hungry and I found Penn, and when I was at Penn, I was fed. And to know that food was food that was prepared by my staff, it's, it's really, it's an awesome feeling. It really is. I've always been a believer, but I really, really found God truly through Penn and strengthened my faith in Him and met amazing people through it that support me still to this day. I don't know where I would be without them.